Aldi finds this week. Today's video guys, we are here at my local Aldi and I am gonna take you through some grocery shopping that I'm gonna do, but as a registered dietitian, I'm gonna share with you some of my tips for shopping at Aldi and why you should be because life's expensive and you can save a lot of money and eat super healthy from your local Aldi. So let's get shopping. The one place you should be getting your nuts and seeds from is definitely Aldi. I don't know if you've noticed, but nuts are super duper expensive, but they're a great source of heart healthy fats, fiber, and protein. So I do always encourage incorporating these into the diet. You can get things like roasted pepitas, pumpkin seeds, 219 for an entire bag, 16 ounces. That's like unheard of. Um, I think they have cashews. Yeah. Cashews for $4.99, 12 ounces. Mixed nuts, $4.95. You will literally save at least a couple dollars on getting your nuts and Aldi. Trail mix is something I think that's often debated whether it's a health food or not, but honestly, this one here incorporates nuts like we just talked about, incorporates a little bit of chocolate, has milk chocolate peanut butter cups in there, and then some dried cherries. This is one of my favorite mixes. It's just all about focusing on the portion size with these. You know, a portion of this is a fourth of a cup. You're gonna get 10 grams of fat, 13 carbs, four protein. So not a ton of protein, two grams of fiber, but something like this for me personally, cause I'm a texture person. I like different textures and flavors. You get sweet, salty, crunchy, and soft all in one. So for me, something like this, having on hand, having one serving of it, can really satisfy a sweet tooth and sometimes tide me over when I'm cooking my next meal. Aldi actually has some of the best gluten-free snacks. They have tons of cookies and crackers. These ones in particular I tried before, the coconut cashew crisps. They have different flavors. Oh, the chocolate ones are the best. I like dipping these in chocolate hummus. Can you um, see the macros? People yeah. need to see the macros. Let's show it. So, well, depending on what flavor you get, a serving size is eight pieces, which is actually quite a bit. They're kind of dense. Uh, they do taste like a cookie. So a little bit higher in fat because their base there is coconut and cashews in this one here. Anything coconut, you're gonna yeah, find higher fat. Yeah, coconut, cashews, gonna be higher fat. And sometimes that's just common with gluten-free because if they're not using gluten, they're gonna fill it with other things. This one has cassava flour in it. Um, but with the cashews and the coconut, you're definitely gonna have a little bit more fat, but I find these super satisfying, sweet, crunchy. You don't need a ton of them. I like to be realistic with my diet and have some things on hand like this because I do like sweets, I like treats. I find personally for myself and the clients I work with, to deprive yourself of everything and just never have them in your home, you often crave them more and then you end up eating them out and seeking them out more. The more you can get comfortable with having things like this in your home, snacking on one or two of them, satisfying the sweet tooth and moving on about your day, the more healthy of an approach you can have with your food and your intake. You can see they even hop on the keto bandwagon. Of course, like they everyone, got keto everyone. stuff. Yeah, they also have, I'm not a huge fan of these. I used to live off these in college, like the 100 calories snack packs, nothing wrong with them. If you need something that's already pre-portioned out for you, these can be such a helper for like a quick little thing to add into your grocery cart. Um, 18 carbs, two fat, two protein. But also you can just like buy a bulk package and portion them out yourself too. So it just kind of depends on what you need, if you have the time or not. Some of us don't have the time and we need things already portioned out. Sometimes I do that with like my snack packs of nuts and stuff too. These butter cookies as a kid. I, I think everyone remembers the butter cookies. I lived off these and then I remember we would reuse the tins and keep uh, crayons in there. Crayons? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we would use it for like arts and crafts. My mom was always really good about like reusing little tins like this that we could. Just going along with if you're someone that needs something portioned out and maybe you don't do well with having a giant bag of trail mix on hand. So maybe you go ahead and you grab the already portioned out packages of trail mix. That's always an option for you. Nothing wrong with that, you guys. It's learning and knowing what works best for you. We have a great assortment of different breads and wraps. I'm a big wrap person. They have these high protein ones, 12 grams of protein and a serving, and yeah, I figured they're pretty high in fiber, 10 grams of fiber, wow. That's real high in fiber. They've got the, uh, this is the Aldi brand, I think the Live G-Free, the gluten-free stuff here. Um, spinach wraps, 
They've got big spinach wraps, and then they also have a low-carb whole wheat option. This is something I gravitate towards more because I find it tastes just the same as a regular tortilla. Like, even though it's low-carb, it doesn't taste any different to me. I really like the whole grain versions. This one has 18 carbs, 14 grams of fat, so you're not gonna wanna eat too many of those in a day or else you may definitely have some GI upset. Uh, three fat, four protein. So this is also a higher protein option for you to do up a wrap, throw some meat in there, some tuna fish, some veggies. You could do a breakfast tortilla. Good option to have on hand. I don't know, I like tortillas lately more than like bread. I don't know though, man, I like a good sandwich. <laughs> they have a nice selection too of organic breads. This kind of reminds me of the Dave's Killer Breads. Different options, they have a protein one here, plant-based protein. If you guys watch my plant-based protein video, I talked all about plant-based protein options. You can check that out. Breads you can get protein from. This one has 10 grams of protein in one slice. Looks like that's coming from soy protein. So just one seeds. slice? Yeah. So you're getting 20 grams of protein? Heck yeah, if you need a whole sandwich, so. The important question, complete protein? Complete protein, yeah. It's soy protein and they have the wheat flour in there, sunflower seeds, so most likely chick chickpea flour, wheat bran, not knowing off the top of my head like the amino acid profile of everything, that should equal a complete protein though. It is, but yeah. soy protein in my opinion, meh, meh. Yeah, you have to be careful with that. So um, we also have other options here though, seed tastic. This one's probably high in protein too. Oh, maybe not, three grams of protein. The seeds will give you a little bit, but not a ton. Three grams of protein, so I really like seedy type breads. And then what's this one? Just a grain tastic, 21 grains in seeds. Yeah, they've really upped the game here. If you haven't been here in a while in terms of their organic options, and it is in their brand of items. So you are saving money and you're getting some organic options here into the produce section and there's actually a lot of great options here. I'm a little like choosy about what I'll get for produce here, but they have organic options, non-organic, and you can usually save quite a bit of money. I will say you do have to be picky about making sure like the ripeness on it, depending on when you're gonna eat it. Sometimes you have to eat it day of, but overall I've had a really good experience with getting produce here, pineapple, asparagus. We need pineapple. Peppers. Especially um, since it's on sale. I just, I know I've heard people talk about produce being bad here, but I've had a really good experience with it. Sometimes I think it depends on what area you live in. Like this Aldi was recently redone. There's more over on the other side. That looks good too. Okay, we can check the other side. Well, unfortunately we got stopped in Aldi's quite quickly actually. And we were asked politely not to film. We were not allowed to. He even said we weren't allowed to take photos in there. So we try to mention to him like, we're just trying to promote Aldi and shopping at Aldi, yeah, but- Yeah, like these guys need to have like health food. Yeah. Uh, like a discount, especially with the cost right. of everything. I was so. like, I'm helping you out, buddy, but I know he's not the maker of the rules. So I am gonna try to DM Aldi on their socials and email them and see if there's some kind of connection we can hook up here so I can finish filming in there. But and you know what's funny actually? What store did you say you can't film in? These, Trader, I, I Trader don't, Joe's. I, no, just in general, even not because of filming, I hate Trader Joe's. I just always yeah. hate them. I, do Sorry I'm I, giving you stink eye. It's really bright out back, back there. Back up a little bit. It's really bright. Is that better? Is that better? A little bit. A little bit? I'm just gonna film this so they can't see your stink eye. <laughs> so, guess who owns all these? Yeah, Trader Joe's. There you go. So that might be part of it. Because we film in Walmart, which is like a massive company. I we know. film in Wegmans, which is a beautiful, like upscale grocery store. For like the Northeast. And they, you, I know, guarantee they're watching you hardcore in security cameras. Yeah. And we have, out of years, have never had never issues had at either issue. store. Nope. And actually, we have filmed in Aldi's, if you've watched this channel. Yep. We've done Aldi hauls before. So now but I feel we like were, we let these guys down. I know, it sucks. Like, I feel like we didn't get to, like, I got blue balls right now. Like, we didn't get to finish the job. Yeah. So that's a bummer. But we are going to go ahead and make a recipe, a viral TikTok recipe, so. But we didn't buy it from Aldi's. We had to go to another grocery store. I was like... Screw this, I'm not buying this stuff here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you lost twice all these free advertising and their groceries. It's true. Let's go make this, this salad. 